So I want to welcome you to the School of Medicine. You've made the decision to come to medical school or PA school in a really challenging time when the normal challenges of medical education or healthcare education are even more difficult. But I'll tell you from talking to students that are already enrolled in school and a couple of years ahead of you that even during this time, in some ways specifically because of this time, it really affirmed their decision to go into a healthcare profession. They knew they were gonna be able to work with other people. They were gonna be able to work for other people and really make a difference in their life. And I felt the same way. I felt like it was really a privilege that during, at, at the beginning stages of the pandemic, I was able to go to work every day and be part of the healthcare center response. Everyone, my name is Rika. We were actually pulled out of clinicals in the middle of March, and for me, that was towards the end of my third year. One of the things that I was concerned about was just how it would affect my education and whether I'd be able to complete what I needed to complete before application season rolled around. I did find comfort in knowing that students across the country were kind of navigating the same situation. We were all facing this unknown together. We were allowed back in the hospital towards the end of July, and that was also kind of nerve-wracking because I was starting on my sub-I and I had been away from clinical care for four months so I was a little bit worried about not having the skills necessary to just jump in right away. It feels so great being back in the hospital and just engaging in real patient care which is what I love to do so I'm really excited for what's to come this year. I will be applying to residencies, going on virtual interviews and so I know fourth year looks a little bit different for our class but I I'm excited to see what's to come. Here today to advocate for a change in physician training. We have to start talking about racism, not just race. In response to um, the murder of George Floyd, and so this group is called White Coats for Black and Indigenous Lives. So today we're going to be exploring sexual and gender minority professionals. So it's not just yeah, I attended the training, I checked out the box. It's actually being active in your learning and in your practice. Then there's these kind of core values that really drive what we're doing here. Diversity and humanity and justice. All these things that are part of what we consider to be foundational, as well as the things like the biomedical sciences that are foundational in the same way. And so we really see it as our job to support learning in all those dimensions. And then very clearly, and I hope you are getting this message already, we very much care about your wellness. And so that, of course, needs to be one of our guiding principles. All of these, these things come together in your ability to provide outpatient clinical care in the specialty of your choice, um, anywhere throughout the state. 